everyone. So I'm sure on Lens Studio you've seen a lens that has multiple choice options where you could click between different hats or different sunglasses or different makeup looks and try out different looks. I personally love lenses that have that because it really makes it easy to navigate and lets you know that there's more options. Sometimes just clicking the screen to tap is not always the best way to figure out that there's a lot of options. A lot of us might not know to click and tap the screen. So having the multiple choice options in the form of a carousel with the UI buttons makes it really easy to navigate a lens. So in this workshop, I'm gonna go through how to create a carousel lens effect and how to navigate the carousel lens template that I created. Hey everyone, so welcome to my carousel tutorial. I made a pretty easy to use template. Whatever you basically place to the left in your object section in these scenes is gonna be connected to these icons. Now you could add more options, you could take some of these options away, you could customize this template however you choose. It's a really great base to start with and I actually built it off of the jewelry template that's right in Lens Studio, so you could play around with that also. And that's why it's set up the way it is with a main camera, a UI camera, and a couple of these other fun options like a hair occluder or the toggleable zoom, like this little mic, uh, magnifying glass you can click on. And so I'm just gonna show you quickly how to set this up and then how to customize it. So first we're gonna go to window, click panels, and then default layout. That should help you see exactly what I'm seeing right now, layout wise. So to get started in customizing this filter so that you could try out different makeup looks, what we're gonna go do is click on asset library up here. So clicking on that, type in the word makeup or anything that you wanna put in these scenes, but I'm just gonna focus on makeup for now and then click import. I'm gonna import five of these things. So now I have five of these makeup templates imported and I'm just gonna place the first four in each scene. So what you'll see here is now that I place this makeup right under scene one, that it's connected to one icon, but not the other. And so now I could place this other one under scene two, this third one under scene three, and then again, just click this fourth one and drag it to scene four. And now I have the different, different makeup looks for each option. And so to customize each one, what we're gonna do is click on here, then click on this makeup with uh, section right here and you're gonna click on this material you could just right click that by it for me on the Mac I just click control click and then select or it's a right click with a mouse and then you'll see the customization options so you could change the colors let's see. Oh, we're in scene. so now in two and let's make this one a little funky So let's say we wanted to do different winter makeup looks. This would be winter look with blues. And then clicking on icon number two, we're gonna see this one. And you could, again, you customize these colors by doing the same thing steps wise, then clicking on this. And then we're going to just make the lipstick really dark red, the blush color really dark red. And then the eyeshadow is gonna be like a Christmassy green. So that's just an example of how you'd customize these looks. Now let's say you wanna add another icon. Um, what you do is go down to the carousel, and then you're gonna add another value, and we're gonna load up icon five. And so now you could see that icon five just popped in there. I just added that as the icon, and you could customize these icons. You don't have to do the icons like I have. And what we just did is just added another object here. So we have to go back up here to our main camera, click on object selector. We're gonna add a new value. And then what we're gonna do is in effects, we're gonna go and we're gonna add a new scene. So in order to add another scene, we're gonna click on effect and click scene object. And I'm just gonna move that, I forgot misplaced like on mine, it just did. Move that to effects and make sure it's on the same layer. Everything looks the same. So this is gonna be scene object five. And now we're just gonna go back to object selector and in value four, we're gonna choose scene object five. So now five should be just a neutral option. And if you wanna add something under it, you could click the plus sign, you could add something there, you could try a different makeup look, or you could keep that one neutral. And so that's how you basically customize your filter. So that's how you create your own carousel or you could modify this carousel. You could put anything you want in there. Any object, anything that you add under these item, these scenes will be attached to this icon. So anything that goes in scene one will be for icon one. Anything that goes in scene two will be for icon two and so on. So you could add hats, accessories, hairstyles, basically anything will allow you to customize this. So 
that's how you use this template and I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want to change the icons, just again, just type in, um, well, go to carousel and you could right click any of these by clicking, right clicking them and clicking select. It'll bring you to that item and then you could replace it by clicking, right clicking on it and clicking relink to new source or you could bring it to show in finder and then you could drag and drop it in Photoshop and you can um, just change the image that way. So really cool, fun template, easy to use and so helpful for creating makeup filters or filters for clients where they want multiple options. So I'll see you in the next workshop.